We got Dave versus Rich here. So I I, I spoke a lot with Dave earlier, and uh, he's he's got a pretty good handle on how how this is going to go down. Rich is someone that I I know locally because he's a, a New Jersey person, and he's got a, a really tight team together as well. So both of these guys won their first game, and they're rolling to see who goes first. Uh, there's, a, there's an overlap here. They're both playing Relentless. They are both playing just incredibly similar teams. They're both using Iceman. Uh, they're both using Professor X. They've got the, the patch Ant-Man thing going on. So I would, I would not be surprised if this game was a blow one direction or the other. Uh, I think the the dangerous part about running the, the exact lineups they've got in this matchup is that Dave, you know, has provided an answer for Ant-Man and that he can try and use Slifer to deal the damage before uh, Doom Calibur Knight makes it untargetable, but he's, he's pr given himself a, a hurdle to get over that his Ant-Man has the same issue. So I really am a huge fan of Rich's inclusion of Venom because Venom can spin down uh, Ant-Man and then it's, it's a one-two punch that Venom spins down in and then Slifer, uh, the Slifer Global is going to get you a KO. Uh, Venom Venom's just such a fantastic card. It's so well designed. Like the, it's, it's never a dead card. It's either good because your opponent is playing Fist characters and you're going to spin them down with the Global, or they're not playing Fist characters and all of their guys are going to get minus two attack and defense and Venom's going to KO characters that are small so they can't use their wall active abilities. So, so Dave is absolutely 100% like standard operating procedure what his deck is supposed to do. He bought an Ant-Man. He put dice in the prep area. Bought, bought a Nick Fury. He's getting ready to put six dice into the prep area. Dave's going to be rolling all of his dice on the following turn. Okay. So, so we've got... Yeah, Rich, Rich did the same thing. You know, he's he's rolling. He's gonna buy his Nick Fury this turn. You know, mo most likely. There's a chance it's impossible, and there's a chance that Rich has a, a different plan figured out. One of the things I'm surprised by both these teams is that neither player is using Blue Eyes White Dragon uh, with with the global ability. Blue Eyes' ability to KO that sidekick uh, if you have a Lightning Energy and get two off of whatever the next thing you do is. just It just strikes me as super strong to energy fix that way. Uh, it's it's part of making the team consistent, but it also makes the team a little bit vulnerable to, to follow that line of thinking because you're not you're losing the flexibility of those additional cards. You're losing the flexibility of having the space for Ring of Magnetism or having the space for uh, Hulk or, or Slifer instead of Magic Missile. Just a lot of a lot of complex choices of these players as they get ready for the game. So before I had spoken about how Slifer's a liability for Dave, but if you really think about it and you, you watch his his team construction, he's also included Hulk, and so he's going to be able to leverage the global with more efficiency than his opponent. This is the absolutely perfect time for when you want to try and use a global effectively. You're going you have some component of your team that makes better use of it than your opponent does. So there's some there's some uh, thinking going on here from Rich that Rich has has the stuff to get the Fury, but he's not going to have the right energy typing to go and use all of his Professor X shenanigans. So Dave. Dave does it, and Rich, Rich tells him, do your thing. He knows exactly what's coming. Roll all the dice. So, does does Rich have an out? I th I think Rich, Rich using Venom's global here could give him the, the leeway to win the game himself. It could buy him the time he needs. Dave kind of has to work through this problem of what do I what do I start with? Getting getting the two sidekicks is something he's gonna have to, to think about. Because it might be good to just get them into play and thin out his bag, but at the same time, 
it is not part of the explosive win the game right now combo that uh, this team is really all about. Earlier in the day, I saw Dave with uh, some, some Dice Masters cards. And the fact that he wasn't using card sleeves made me think, oh, this must be his for fun team or not what he's competing with. But some players just like the, the feel of the cardboard over the feel of the plastic, as so many others do. It lo looks like a lot of table talk between these guys. They're, they're both uh, pretty friendly competitors, making light of uh, the fact that this could be the final turn of the game. The redundancy of uh, Relentless being on both players' teams is, is pretty good in the sense that... Oh, so I think Dave just went to go get the the field for free Nick Fury, and instead he turns it into energy and doesn't get the effect of having patch whatsoever. Something players didn't realize uh, when I was at some of the other tables today was that Nick Fury patch has a max number two in terms of dice. If you sync your your dice into your low-cost characters, and then you sink your dice into Nick Fury, and then you put one die on each of your guys you use only, you're only using for the globals, you probably are using less than 20 dice. <coughs> uh, there's, there's nothing wrong with using less than 20 dice, it just doesn't necessarily feel very good. Uh, looks like a big purchase coming. Big purchase from Dave. Spend six Hulk die. So... Dave is behaving as as if... Uh, oh, so, fantastic play from Dave here. Purchases the Hulk die. His, uh, his, the dice he spent are technically out of play. Uses Resurrection, and then moves the only die in his use pile, the Hulk, to his bag. Bag to prep area. Really, really super efficient. Perfect way, perfect, perfect way to use Resurrection. Uh... Some people were probably doing this trick back with Silver Surfer, and again, I say it's, it is the absolute best way to go and use this effect. It is what helps leverage its efficiency to make it uh, not strictly worse than Professor X. Wow, that's, that's many question marks. It, those question marks are for Rich wondering what he will want to do. Uh, he doesn't have Ant Man, so he's not he's not going to win this turn. <laughs> Big wah wah from Rich because sidekicks are not what make this match happen. So I'm I'm curious to see where. Oh, so so Rich Rich is revealing to Dave that he is in fact mainly here to play attack wing and just likes Dice Masters enough to come uh, play this event and have a good time with us, which is great. Uh, so, I imagine that Rich is going to go for a, a, a purchase a die and then use Magic Missile, or sorry, not Magic, Slife for the Sky Dragon on Dave's turn to KO the Ant-Man before it can attack. Still doesn't solve the Hulk problem. So Dave, Dave is setting himself up to have a Hulk in play, and Rich is never going to get to an attack step and have characters out. Rich's characters are not big enough. Uh, Rich, Rich didn't buy Psylocke. That, that is probably the, the, the play I disagree with here. Like to go for an Ant-Man oriented win, absolutely, absolutely the right path. But Hulk is gonna, I think Hulk is gonna win the game for Dave before. Rich could buy a Psylocke next turn and then get it into the field. Let's find out now. So the roll. So, okay, so Dave has missed Nick Fury and he's missed Hulk, but he gets to re-roll them both. And so he misses Hulk again. So suddenly my, my earlier premonition of uh, Dave being able to end the game and kind of use the Hulk to lock things down is, is really not the reality that Dave is, is facing anymore. It, as soon as as soon as Dave goes to even move into the, the attack step with too many extra dice, he's gonna have to pass priority to Rich, and Rich could slay for the Sky Dragon, Ant Man to, to death, and that's the end of it. So 
Okay, Stave uses Resurrection to empty his dice bag. That is, so he's got no dice in bag, and and some some pretty good dice purchased already. This none of what's going on can really be that big of a surprise to either player, though, because their their teams are just so similar. The the absolute core engine of Doom Caliber Knight, Professor X, uh, Mr. Uh, Iceman, and Ant Man. It just that is that is what their teams are about, and they're gonna they're gonna make it go. So I've gotten some questions about what is uh, one of the dice that Rich has because there's a little bit of glare, and that is that he has a Spider-Man uh, web slinger. So the web slinger is really cool because it lets you sort of pay energies into the future uh, by getting a web slinger and making sure that you have uh, another way to force blockers. You, you don't need to spend uh, masks on the middle of this global. It's, it's a different way of achieving the same goal. It's good to build redundancy into your strategies because when something goes wrong, like uh, the, the Lord of D-Ring, right? Uh, you're not going to be able to Relentless or uh, Swords of really Light to prevent their, their, attacker, or their characters from blocking. Okay, so speaking of that redundancy, here are multiple Ant-Men dice that which was probably hoping would turn into Ant-Man and not energy. So there's one that's that's an Ant-Man. Let's see what he gets on that second second Ant-Man, because there's almost no way he doesn't reroll. Yeah, here it goes. Okay. We got two Ant-Men. So Dave's field, the game has gone on slightly too long such that Dave's field is ju just pretty robust that Rich is not going to be able to distract just everyone. Oh, sorry, not distract, Relentless. He won't be able to just use Relentless on every character to prevent all the blocking. So Rich, Rich is entering the zone where he doesn't want to really spend energy for something different, but he also needs to needs to build for the future here. Oh, so so Rich kind of kind of reveals that he has not been practicing as much as he used to. He's asking his opponent, "Oh, yeah, can I can I use a Professor X global when there are not two dice uh, available for me to choose?" And so Dave just kind of explains, "Oh, yeah, you can you do as much as you can as long as you can do something. You're allowed to use your ability." Okay, so, so, Rich, Rich is gonna pay two. Finds another Ant Man. I was, I was really expecting the question mark to be a mask for Psylocke. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six sidekicks showing for Rich. So Rich has two sidekicks in the bag and one Ant Man. So. Rich could, Rich could roll uh, a bunch of Ant-Men next turn, but it's still still too many will be able to be blocked by by Dave's huge field. Dave, on the other hand, has an empty bag, so his bag is going to get filled up with the Incredible Hulk. Okay, so. Rich, Rich is still uh, working through the the combat tricks. He, I think he wants he wants to go for some kind of attack. Figures he either starts to whittle away at Dave's wall of blockers, or he just buys some opportunities for the future. And Dave shakes his empty bag, takes one, puts up a finger that he's got gonna have one energy. There's his Dave, Dave's pen is his generic energy. And so Rich, Rich is winning at this point. <laughs> okay, there's there's the Hulk. Uh, I think the game's over. I think I think Dave just has lethal on board at this point. So he spends a generic and fills his Hulk. And 
Okay, so now it's it's time to smash. Slifer damages Slifer damages Hulk. Hulk damages everyone on Rich's side of the field. So yeah, Dave Dave's doing some good pointing for me. Dave, Rich Rich says wow. Yes, that that is a big wow. This is such a such a cool combo. Um, I, I've been talking to someone else about it earlier that, hey, you know, magic missiles crowding out Slifer, and Dave shows up next round and says, no, Jimmy, it's not. Uh, one of the cool things is there's there's a lot of flexibility in where you get that effect from, that some teams are going to want to use Slifer and some teams are going to want to use magic missile. And few teams tend to use them for both the global and the, the body associated with it, but hey, it works. They get to they get to save their space for the things that matter. So Rich is not Rich is not using distraction, which means the unblock characters actually get through. Yeah, they they, they shake hands. They're, so I'm gonna give these guys a moment to to chat, and I'm gonna try and make sure I snag Dave so we can talk a little bit about this game. Okay, so here we've got we've got Dave. You guys just watched win. Oh. All right, I'll get that later. Okay, Dave just dropped his generic energy on the ground. Okay, so you sit you sit down to play that game, mm -hmm. and someone's got an incredibly similar team to your own. Uh, does that does that worry you? Does that put you at ease? Um, it does to an extent. Um, the thing is, he had a team very similar, but he did not have the Green Goliath. Um, yeah, big deal. Absolutely, big deal. yeah. So with that team, what you need to do is if you look and you see, with high hopes, if you look and you see you have that kill early, mm -hmm. then you take it. But if not, you go for the Hulk. Um, mm -hmm. He did not have that, so I knew that as long as, well, one, as soon as I was going first, I knew I was okay. <laughs> um, and two, uh, um, yeah, he didn't have the Green Goliath, so I knew it was going to be harder for them to build after that. I was going to be able to clear whatever as long as I got to it. Mm -hmm. uh, take the Green Goliath, use the shield to... Uh, it's the only thing in your uh, prep area because everything else yep. is in transit. Use a I shield, pull it to your that. bag, that's, that's or pull it to your fantastic. prep, and you're good. Yeah. The perfect uh, use of resurrection. So there's the opportunity that you could you could do things a little bit differently. You could use Silver mm -hmm. Surfer, and you could then have the the magic missile instead, and, right. and get and like swap where you're getting those effects from. Uh, what made you choose to use Slifer and Resurrection versus the other way around? 
Um, mostly so that I didn't have a basic action slot taken up with it. But okay. um, <laughs> to be quite honest with you, in reformulating my team for this, uh, this qualifier, mm -hmm. I mistakenly did not include Enrage, which is a big global to miss for mine. Uh, if I want to go is. for the early, but um, this thing can stabilize early enough that you don't worry don't too much to. about that, and you go for the Hulk, and that won't that be that. If you go for, if you don't go first, you're hard pressed anyway, and you're mm -hmm. not going to get that early kill. So okay. So what are your thoughts on uh, the Psylocke that Rich had on this team? Was that something you were worried about as a solution to your Hulk? What? It, no, because as soon as I got Hulk out, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I, I, Hulk, <laughs> Hulk wasn't going to be on the field. I knew as soon as I got Hulk out that I was going to mm -hmm. be able to swing, swing for lethal. Uh, that, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah I, I, I noticed that, that Rich didn't buy the, the Psylocke, and I, I wasn't sure if that was one of those situations where it's, oh, you missed your, your chance, or, mm -hmm. oh, even the solution is not a good enough solution that right. it could be irrelevant. Well, and, you know, the other thing is, and, and somebody asked me earlier on, why do you have the Ring of Magnetism without Lord of D or whatever else? That's, that's exactly if somebody has a team very similar, and Randy was mm -hmm. in a similar situation earlier today. Mm -hmm. um, He's pinging his hulks or whatever else. Why well, put that Lord of D or excuse me that Ring of Magnetism on somebody? And yeah. uh, now you know those Slifer hits or Magic Missile hits aren't going to be able to hit his hulk, and that's that's good. Ma so. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. So we we spoke in early today. Yes. And so uh, what what kind of things do you think people should be thinking about between the first qualifier of the day versus the second qualifier? Because uh, it, it's pretty rare that this is a scenario. But mm -hmm. when when it happens, what's the the best? Uh, I guess, shift to try and make? Um, you know, I made the critical error of overthinking perhaps a little okay. bit and retooling some things last night that I probably should not have. Okay. Um, that said, I think my team would have done better in the first qualifier had I, I had trouble getting my rolls early mm -hmm. on. And uh, to be quite honest, I went second both of those games. And yeah. uh, both were able to swing for a huge amount of damage. And uh, ev even if it wasn't lethal, it was enough that all they got to do is get one little thing to squeak through, and, and that's it. So um, on, on the, the thought of rolls, mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Blue Eyes White Dragon in the, the High Hopes builds as an energy fixer to make sure that you don't get stuck with a psychic in yeah. play on that, that second turn where you're trying to buy Nick Fury. Mm -hmm. um, you weren't doing it. Rich wasn't doing it. I don't think I've seen people doing it today. What the, I, I think everyone's onto something that I'm not. I'm curious what, what you think that might be. Um, it's a question of room. There's yeah. enough things that you have to have answers for. I mean, it was hard for me. I, I kind of wanted to have um, a great thing to go against a bomb team, uh, for mm -hmm. example, is uh, the uh, Human Paladin from D&D. &D, Absolutely. The uh, common one. Or, well, they're all common. Um, <laughs> yeah. The lesser. And um, if you have... Um, you can only have so many counters, and you can only have so many things. W trying to put the te enough things in the team that your team can operate the way it needs to, which mm -hmm. in a lot of cases, it's only four or five cards, yeah. um, which is why I, I suspect that Hybrid Constructed hasn't picked up in a huge way, like the bring yeah. four and pull four, Agreed. because you your team is together with four cards. Um, mm -hmm. But there's only so much that you can fit in around. You know, you have your four, you have the Professor X, you have some of the um, some of the fixing with that. Yeah. And then you have things like Ring of Magnetism that you're using to uh, to mitigate certain specific things. The Blue Eyes helps mitigate one thing. I chose to mitigate something else. I guess it's just hard to fit. No, um, so it makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, have you gotten a chance to play Rainbow Draft today? Uh, not today. I was okay. really excited for it, but uh, and I see um, a couple other guys from the reserve pool over there playing it right now. Mm -hmm. uh, they're in the same one. Um, I did get my uh, DC stuff. It's in my bag down there. I'm nice. um, excited to look through and uh, open some packs and everything. I'm really excited that uh, the uncommon and rare booster gold are less awful than the common. They're not great, but I'm sure there's going to be a way to use them. But uh, okay. they're less <laughs> awful than the common. He's my favorite uh, my favorite uh, character in DC. So. so you were really excited <laughs> when 52 rolled around and booster gold was like the, the big hero? Absolutely. <laughs> of course, then they have the new 52 and ended his, uh, his solo series. So whatever. Oh. Um, it, yeah, it happens. It does. Well, that's that's comic continuity for you. Yeah. But um, uh, this is great. I've met so many uh, awesome people here. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of looking around the room. A lot of great conversations. A lot of good strategy. Uh, the, the guy I just played against, Rich. I mean, we were laughing about so many different things. Just oh, real yeah. The people who play and can you want to win? You want to play to win, but you yes. The people who play and can keep it casual in the midst of it. You know, he mm -hmm. he qualified on attack win. We talked a little bit about that, and uh, a few other things. Th those games are just much more fun to play. And I yeah. I want to play. I want to win. I want to be the best player I can. But I, I like the social aspect more than anything else. Yeah, I, I think that it's so great that you have somebody like Rich who I I overheard some conversation that oh you know he has a really good shot of doing really well with attack win. I don't necessarily have the personal knowledge or insight into that. Me neither. But so for him to come in and say oh. Oh, I'm I'm really honestly here to have a good time and and I enjoy playing these games. Like 
that those are some of the people you really absolutely need to have in your community. And so yeah, and I mean, he, and he didn't hold back. He had the right kind of team. Yep, uh, You know, the, the first the first guy I played, uh, you know, sim similar kind of situation, but he had he had a solid team. Uh, something very different and something I was worried I was not prepared for, mm -hmm. uh, and ended up coming out with it. But yeah. Um, but yeah, just it's so much fun. Qualify or not, I'm I'm happy to. I'm just happy to be playing the people and playing playing so, so much dice masters today. Yeah, what was your final record at the end of the last event? Uh, two and two. Two and two. Okay, mm -hmm. so you you were on ended up being on the bubble for that. Yes. Yeah. So, you think you have a better shot at, at this uh, second one? I'm two and zero oh right now. Um, oh, you're. I mean, you're probably in. We'll I, see. We'll I, see. I, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, um, I, I got. I want to do well on one more and mm -hmm. at least, and then go from there. I mean, if I'm undefeated, fantastic. But uh, yeah, yeah. Why not? Um, I just I just want to see what. If, if not tomorrow, I'm going to be playing a whole bunch of draft. Um, so Make, makes yeah, yeah. This is the I'm really curious to see what emerges in the rainbow draft format for DC because this is the first time it's existed, mm -hmm. and it's at the same time the most densely competitive group of players you're going to have do this. <laughs> it's it's not your local shop. It's mm -hmm. everybody's good enough to win at their local store, and they decided to come here and face off. So I think retaliation could be big. Um, oh it's just yeah. going to be a question of will. Is it going to be easy enough to get characters with retaliation out before you yourself are, of, you know, are at zero? Yeah, I think um, the the one Black Manta that has the, mm. the kind of super retaliation. He looks at all the villains and he looks at all the Legion of Doom. He, I, if I had to pick a retaliation guy for Rainbow Draft, I think he's the one. Yeah, and but villains gain a lot of new tools yeah. with DC. I mean, I, I looked at DC stuff and I was really excited to pair that up with um, with some of the uh, villain stuff within previous Marvel sets with mm -hmm. Nasty Boy especially uh, Mr. Sinister yeah. Nasty Boy so yeah he's he's definitely on our list of like sleeper <laughs> cards that something is going to happen and Nasty Boy is going to be the benef the beneficiary well you know a lot of cards are like look around here I mean so many yeah. teams with Hulk Green Goliath yeah. um, so many teams with Nova uh, though st I'm I, from what I'm seeing he's not necessarily fast enough to uh or has enough staying power to do what people want him to do I know Evan had that problem er earlier today but yeah yeah Nova was one of those cards that when you look at the the very first grouping of AVX cards, you're like, oh, this guy's almost there. He's he's so close, and you're just waiting for the right thing. Iceman and Profe the Iceman Global and the Professor X Global almost get, get him even closer. And he yeah. can win in a lot of scenarios, but when you're facing off against... In, in stores, I, I have no doubt he wins constantly. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. But when you're here facing off against a lot of people, who, as you said, you know, they've, they've won in their stores, and now they decided to make the trip to Baltimore, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Hey, al always a pleasure. So, yeah, we're going to see what happens next round and uh, figure it out from there. So totally. have fun. Good luck. Hey, thank you very much.